Hey, how's it going? Before I get into this video, I want to let everybody know that I do do manga and anime related content, also tattoo related content on my channel, and this particular video is tattoo related. So if you are on the manga side of my subscribers, uh, this video may not be for you, but if you want to, you can stick around and enjoy it. Thank you. Hey, what's going on, homies? If you clicked on this video, you're most likely about to go get your first tattoo. So I'm gonna give you a little tips and tricks to help you along the way. So let's get right into that. The first thing I recommend doing is I want you guys to drink a lot of water and eat before you go get your tattoo. Reason being, it's gonna boost your blood sugar and you're gonna need that during the tattoo process. It's gonna make sure your blood isn't super thinned out, anything like that, and it's gonna help you relax. Now, when you go into a tattoo shop, they are gonna give you a consent form. Please do not lie on that consent form. That consent form is very important. It asks a bunch of questions like if you're pregnant, if you're on medication, if you're sober, um, if you take any blood thinners, stuff like that. We need to know all of that to make sure the process goes as easy for you as it does for us. When you first come in to get your first tattoo, it is totally fine to bring a friend. I recommend bringing a friend actually. It's gonna help you with the process if you're a little scared. You know, uh, most tattoo shops, they will let your friends come back if you want, you know, them to hold your hand or something like that that's fine with me that's fine with everybody in my shop i hope it's fine with your shop as well when coming in for your first tattoo i do recommend getting an easy to work with area tattooed first not fingers not neck not face stuff like that just so you can get the feel of the tattoo because you don't know how it feels yet and with that the most commonly asked question that i get all the time is do tattoos hurt Yes, tattoos do hurt, but in different spots they hurt more and some spots they hurt less. And I will be going over that as well right now. Spots to avoid for your first tattoo. Um, I do recommend avoiding your fingers, your neck, uh, the pits of your arm right here. Uh, I don't want your first tattoo experience to be ruined by the pain um, because it does hurt. I'm not gonna lie to you, getting tattoos do hurt. If you are afraid of the pain, do not be afraid to ask for numbing cream. If you do ask for numbing cream, we are not going to look down on you. That is a horrible thing for an artist to do to another person. But if you do want the numbing cream, let us know an hour in advance because we do have to wrap you in saran wrap with the numbing cream for it to kick in and work. If you do decide to get a finger tattoo, please do not get them on the inside of your fingers right here. They do fall out. It is a waste of pain, a waste of your time, and a waste of our time because we will have to be going over that tattoo three or four times for it to actually stick. And most of the time it just does blow out and it looks like crap. When coming in to get your first tattoo, I want you to realize something that tattoos are permanent, okay? I want you to make sure you pick a good design and that one that you're gonna be comfortable with living with for the rest of your life. If you don't want it for the rest of your life, you have to get it lasered off and that is way more expensive than getting the actual tattoo itself. So pick accordingly and pick something that you really want. What I recommend doing is before getting your tattoo, pick the style of tattoo that you want. A lot of artists specialize in certain styles. Some specialize in neo-traditional, some specialize in Japanese traditional, some specialize in realism. Look around, check their portfolio, uh, portfolios out. Uh, usually nowadays it's on Instagram. They have emails you can email them at. Or just go into a local shop and check out and see if they have a normal portfolio, just to book one. When you come in to get your first tattoo and you are taking prescription medication, please let us know which ones they are. Some of them might be blood thinners and that could affect the tattooing process. Most of the time it doesn't. We just really need to know that information. This is a big one, guys. I know you're gonna be nervous for your first tattoo, but please come in sober. Please do not come in drunk. It does thin your blood and you move around and it's gonna be really hard for us to work with you if you're all over the place being belligerent. And most of the time we will actually realize it and recognize it. We can smell it on your breath and we will not tattoo you that day. Please come in sober. Uh, it's gonna help you and it's gonna help us as well. Another big one is please don't hype yourself up. It's really not a big deal. Look at me, just, just look at me, okay? I'm alive, I've been getting tattooed for the last 15 years. It hurts, yeah it does, but you could live through it. It's not the end of the world. Some spots do hurt more than others, 
but for little ones, especially for your first tattoo, it might be a smaller portion size tattoo. You have nothing to worry about. 20, 30 minutes to an hour of pain for something that's gonna last, uh, last the rest of your life, it's totally worth it. Another question that I get asked all the time is how does it feel? In my personal opinion, it does feel kind of like a cat scratch, um, depending on the body. But when I did get my neck done, uh, it, the tattoo didn't really hurt as bad as the pressure. There is gonna be a lot of pressure in different parts of the body to stretch the skin properly to get the ink in there. Uh, needle groupings is also a big thing. The smaller the needle, the more it hurts to me. So if he's using like a three round liner, it feels more like a razor blade in, instead of a cat scratch. With bigger magnums, that actually hurts less to me, but it's different for everybody. Um, shading hurts less to me and lining hurts more. Uh, it's different for everybody. One other thing is also be aware, a lot of people could be allergic to colored inks. A lot of people are actually allergic to crimson red. Um, some people are allergic to yellow. And if you are allergic to the ink, uh, it does scab up and it does get infected and it does look pretty gross. I have to throw that in there. It is on the bottle and it is on the consent form. So please read the consent form, go through everything. It just don't initial everything. Make sure you read the entirety of the consent form. So after you got your first tattoo and you're all done, we are going to wrap you up with this stuff called Saniderm or Dermashield. And sometimes you could have allergic reaction to that stuff. We will find out immediately though, because once we put it on you, we're gonna wait about three minutes. If it starts turning red around the area that you got tattooed, we will take that off and we will take care of your tattoo the old fashioned way. But let me get more in depth into Saniderm. So what Saniderm does is, is a, an adhesive bandage that stays on your skin up to three to five days and your tattoo actually heals under it. The other way of healing your tattoo is we are going to put a &D on it and we are going to wrap it in saran wrap, okay? And usually with that, a lot of tattoo shops have different outlooks on that. Me personally, if I wrap it the old school way, I like to put the a &D on, wrap it, and you leave it on for 24 hours, take it off, clean it off with warm soapy water, and then let it air dry for six to eight hours, roughly, and then three times a day for three days, apply a thin layer of a and like you are gonna rub in lotion. Do not leave it greasy. If you leave it greasy, it gives it no room to breathe and your tattoo will heal uh, terribly. Scabbing can happen. Infections can happen. After you get your tattoo, please do not pick up your pets. Please do not go dirt bike riding. Please do not go to the beach. Try to stay out of the sun. Um, let's say you get a tattoo in the pit of your arm right here. Try to kick it. Hang out for three days on your couch or something. Anything, any part of your body that moves, it takes longer to heal. It needs to be flat, it needs to be relaxed for it to heal correctly. If you walk into a tattoo shop and you are being treated poorly, do not be afraid to leave that tattoo shop. Go to a different one. People in this industry back in the day used to be really big scumbags. Now it's a turn of events and people are actually coming around and being more polite and nice and everybody needs to be treated with respect, especially in this industry, because if you find a good artist that you like, you will become friends with them eventually because sitting in a tattoo chair for a long period of time, we are going to talk. We're gonna know each other. We're gonna talk about our lives and what we do for livings and what we do for fun. So get comfortable with your artists. And if they're being douchebags and just, you know, come, you know what I mean? I did need to add something in this video. This is actually not uh, my tattoo station. This is our art room. Uh, this is the back, we call it the family room. This is where we print everything out, stuff like that. So if uh, you walk into a tattoo shop and it actually looks like this, uh, just kind of get out of there. This is just for fun. This is for us. Uh, we tag in here. Just stuff like that. And that's it for this video. I really hope it helped. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, you learned something from it. And get out there and get your first tattoo. Um, my name is Josh Frizzell. I work at Forsaken Saints Tattoo Parlor. I actually own the building. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, 
please click on one of these videos right here, right here, and feel free, uh, feel free to subscribe. I do do a lot of manga anime content as well as tattooing content. So hope to see you again soon. Later, taters.